May 11, 2012. This is just a, just a Dunder Cheap from a Fred New Brunswick, Canada. We're on the walking trail, and it's very windy. I want to share some uh, thoughts. Now, the topic is going to be affidavit evidence. When one is filing affidavits to support their cause, it's important to understand what an affidavit is. An affidavit is a swear, sworn statement of fact, which a court can consider as a fact. The court needs to know the facts before they can decide on the argument that supports those facts. So when one is uh, preparing an affidavit, I've prepared many, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking to establish the facts that prove my case. So if I want the court to grant some specific relief, I need to have the court understand the facts that are relevant to that. If I'm filing a motion for an extension of time, I have to establish the facts of why I need an extension of time, what I've done, any other documents or anything that's evidence that proves my cause, so the court can consider that. Now one is not supposed to put argument or opinion in an affidavit. What an affidavit consists of is statements of fact. What day did the event occur? Surrounding circumstances that are relevant. Why one was late in serving or filing a document. When the document should have been served or filed. Things like that must be considered and put by affidavit to establish the facts for the judge to consider. Further to that, one would put as exhibits documents that prove what they're saying. As an example, one is saying they're at a location on a particular day. They can provide a receipt that establishes where they were on that date. Substantiates their uh, their claims. Looking for substantiation so that the storyline that you provide to the judge will be substantiated by facts and evidence that reinforce the storyline. If you say something occurred on a particular date and you have evidence to prove it and the other side cannot refute it, then it is it's established as a fact and one can rely on it. Now some basic stuff to remember about affidavits is affidavits need to be numbered as in all the paragraphs need to be numbered and the pages need to be numbered. So it goes from sequentially from paragraph one all the way down to the last paragraph at the uh, heading of the affidavit. One puts a style of cause which has court file number, what court it's in is in Court of Queen's Bench of New Brunswick and then, then below that Judicial District of Fredericton, whatever city it's in. Then we have between the parties. What's indicated is the parties. Who is the plaintiff, who's the defendant, or if it's an applicant and a respondent, whatever is relevant, and the names of those parties. Below that we have the word affidavit, written in all capital letters. And then below that, there's a statement that says, I so-and-so do swear. And uh, what's interesting is you have I so-and-so and gives their name, their occupation, where they reside. Then they provide the uh, a statement such as I so-and-so do swear that the entire con contents of this affidavit are true. They're all statements of fact within my knowledge 
unless I've indicated otherwise. So when it's supposed to only provide statements of fact that are in their first-hand experience, as in I saw something on a specific date. And if one was giving a statement like that, they would say, on, say, May 11, at the time, I, and then the name of the deponent, the person swearing the affidavit, did see, and then a very descriptive account of what they saw. And if, you'd, if one doesn't know for sure, they would say, I barely believe that something did occur because I don't believe it. If they saw it, it's a fact that they saw it. So it's interesting to consider this when preparing an affidavit. The general rules for affidavits is the, uh, for a court of Queen's Bench in New Brunswick and Court of Appeal in New Brunswick, the margins must be 4 centimeters or 1.6 inches all the way around. It's top, bottom, right, left. All the exhibits need to be numbered as Exhibit A, Exhibit B, to the sequence of however many exhibits there are. An affidavit is sworn out before either a commissioner of oaths or a lawyer. Commissioner of oaths do it for free. In New Brunswick, lawyers charge a fee to swear out affidavits usually. One puts their signature on there, they swear it's all true. Some pretty hefty consequences if one swears information that they know is not true. So, one must make sure that what they're saying is true. One can either uh, make an oath or att attestation or swear. And uh, all three have the same effect. In uh, the court, so there's some basic information on affidavits for your consideration. This is Justice Dunder Cheap, May 11, 2012. Thanks for listening. Please post a comment down below. Have a great day.